Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin. Today we're taking a look at the Microsoft Edge Insider leak. So this is uh, this is the Chromium-based version of Edge that Microsoft announced back in December. Um, it's not publicly available. It leaked today, and you can find the link to the leak that I'm running right now on Neowin. Um, it is a third-party install, so you just want to be careful with that. Uh, so just getting started. Hi, Rich Woods. Let's set up your browser with data. And it just brings everything in from Chrome, which is awesome. You can see that my uh, bookmark bar is up here already. And um, everything's just there. And it it's pretty amazing because this is one of the biggest barriers to, to setting up other browsers that, that I've had. Um, so, so, not so, okay. Choose a look for new tabs, inspirational, informational and, and focus so I, I don't care about this I'm gonna stick with inspirational because I want to be inspired okay so this browser has leaked very much uh, we exclusively leaked the first screenshots um, at the beginning of I think it was March 5th um, then we had an FAQ page that leaked uh, that that showed that the first insider preview is going to be 64-bit only. Um, I don't know for sure if this is 64-bit only. I haven't tried this on a 32-bit machine because I don't have a 32-bit machine. We also got an installer that leaked, but it didn't work. So this is the first time that you could actually install it and run it in its entirety. And so like I said, I, I believe this is 64-bit only, and I believe it's Windows 10 only because that's what the FAQ page said. Although this will be available for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 at some point. So if you're on those older operating systems, that is something to look forward to. And um, it's also going to be available for Mac OS. <laughs> Obviously, there's no Mac OS version right now. Um, if you ask Microsoft where the Chromium version of Edge is, they'll tell you that the Android version is out. And Android is Chromium-based. Uh, iOS is WebKit-based, so there's that. Um, obviously, the Windows version over here, this is Edge HTML. And you can see that the designs, in general, are kind of similar. You have a little curves over the tabs here. That's that's new, more, more Chromium-like. Uh, but you see that Edge for Windows 10 doesn't automatically bring in my bookmarks like that. So, a couple things that we can see are missing. Uh, the ability to write on web pages. This is something that, that I've always liked. It was one of the, the flagship features of, of Microsoft Edge. You could just right on edge and you could just save it kind of as an image uh, you could also do this with pds which i love it's an easy way to to if someone sends you a document to sign you can easily just pull it up in edge click that icon and just sign it save it send it back it's great um, so there's a bunch of stuff there All right now obviously browsing browsing is going to be exactly the same as it is in chrome everything this is based on chromium so the rendering engine is exactly the same, and it works. So I think that's one of the, the ideas behind this browser is is standardizing standardizing the web. I also think that, that part of the idea is that Microsoft doesn't want to continue um, developing its own browser and, put, and putting, in, putting in the work that it takes to, to keep up with everyone else um, to, to have your own rendering engine. And also, of course, it's, it's about separating it from the operating system. Edge for Windows 10 only gets updated about twice a year when Windows 10 is updated. So there are fixes and security fixes and stuff, but features only come twice a year. Edge is getting, I mean, Chrome is getting updated all the time. And with that, I mean, Firefox and other browsers are being updated all the time as well. It's, it's hard to keep up. Also, we should obviously be switching this to dark mode. Yeah, way better, way better. But the browser itself doesn't have a uh, dark mode in settings, but we're going to look at settings later. Um, I believe it's under flags and, and you can get to it if you want to. So here's the Edge Insider page and you can see it still doesn't offer you an option to actually sign up. You just, you can just sign up for more information when it's available. And um, that's been there for ever since they announced this. So you can't get this publicly just yet, unfortunately. Okay. So let's take a look at what's available in all the Microsoft stuff that's over here. Uh, first, let's look at extensions. I don't have any installed, but you can obviously get extensions from the Microsoft Store. But you can also get extensions from the Google Store. Okay, so if we go to Google Web Store, now we're probably going to get no, the Chrome Web Store, I should say. Um, so let's just say we want LastPass. And we can see that it says now 
manage extensions, you have to say allow extensions from other, other stores. So we could find that over here and there's just a switch right here. And now we should be able to install this. Maybe if we refresh and then we would just say add to Chrome, but we actually mean add to edge. So I don't actually want this. I'm not going to add it, but yeah. It's that easy to, if, so if there's something that you don't see in the Edge Insider add-ons page, you can now just easily go to the Google Chrome Web Store and get it there. So then, of course, we can also load our own extensions. If we turn on developer mode, load, on, uh, yeah, so we can, we can you know, obviously sideload your own extensions. Um, let's go to settings because there's a lot in here. So when, when I first uh, signed in, um, it said syncing wasn't available. Now it just worked. You can also sign out, right? And you can come back and you say sign in. It's going to go to your Microsoft account and boom, you're in. Okay, so you can, oh, okay, sync. <laughs> yeah, so you have to choose the sync just like in, in Google Chrome. And also, you can add more accounts. You can say add a profile. And this is something that you can't do in Edge right now because Edge just kind of works with the Windows 10 profile that you're in. So you can add accounts, you could do other things. And um, that's great. That's something that, that's been missing from Edge for a long time. Okay, appearance. This is where you would probably find dark mode if it, if it existed. Um, show home button. I don't want to show home button. Who uses that anymore? Uh, on startup, open the new page, new tab page. Lots of stuff. Um, this is all stuff that that's obviously downloads. Uh, ask where to save your file before downloading. Who wants that? Languages. You have a ton of languages that you can choose from. So this isn't going to be a ENUS only thing like we've seen so many times from Microsoft to first before. Printing system. Reset settings, uh, and then about Microsoft Edge, uh, an error occurred while checking for updates. So that means that this probably isn't going to get updates. I imagine that I'll have to uninstall this and then uh, reinstall it when the actual preview comes out. So we're going to look for flags here, and I'm guessing we can just Edge flags. It might be Chrome still. I don't yeah, there it is. Okay, so uh, let's see what's unavailable. So you can actually, oh, WebRTT hardware video decoding on a, not available. Interesting. Um, okay, so that might just be the PC I'm on. I'm actually, by the way, the reason that you're seeing the black bars on the side is because I am on a PC with a 3x2 display, uh, but there's that. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Obviously, these are features that you can turn on and off, just like in Chrome. If you go to, if you're in Chrome, you go to Chrome colon slash slash flags. You'll get a list just like this, and you can enable and d disable various various things. So this is where you might find dark modes. Let's see if we can. But it's also like, oh, Microsoft Edge theme. Use a lighter dark theme based on OS preferences in your browser. So we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna. So you see that we do have dark theme, but um, one thing that's that's interesting is that it actually follows your OS preferences, which is something that, that Edge itself does not have. You have to set it to light or dark, and there's never been an option to actually follow your OS preferences like there should have been. Okay, so um, we have things like WebVR. Uh, you'll find uh, Windows. You'll find the same list of flags that you find in Chrome now um, now available. So if we so uh, heat profiling start mode starts heat profiling service that records sampled memory allocate i'm not going to get into that uh, let's see what else is in here for edge oops that's a favorite now and there's 41 references to edge here so extensions uh, extensions on edge urls um force color profile yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff here that, that you can uh, cookie import from Spartan Edge. Oh, it's so cool that they're still calling it Spartan Edge in here. Okay, so let's take a look at what else we have around here. Um, okay, uh, the downloads page. Is, uh, actually, it looks kind of different from the one in Chrome, which is pretty interesting. Um, apps, manage apps. Oh, website apps just, okay. So, by the way, one thing about the... the um, Site permissions, you can go through site by site and you can look at all of the apps that you've given permissions to and you can just um, take them away kind of one by one. 
Okay, favorites. A lot of this is just like Chrome. A lot of it's not. Um, what we're going to be looking for really while this is being developed is um, oh, send feedback. Do we get feedback up for that? Now yeah, we just get a send feedback thing. Uh, we don't. So uh, one thing we look for is those edge specific features like the ability to write on pages, write on PDFs. Um, and also um, just uh, for example, 4K Netflix streaming, that is something that is not available on uh, Chrome. The, in fact, Edge is the only browser that can do that. Uh, Internet Explorer does 1080p. All the other browsers do 720p. So I'm going to be curious to see if they somehow add that or if that's just going to be exclusive to the Netflix app now because the Netflix app is a web app that runs off of Edge HTML. So, by the way, web apps that, that run off of Edge HTML can continue to run off of Edge HTML. And... Um, they might have like a dual uh, rendering engine in this browser, in fact, that I've heard. I haven't found it in here. But that's about it. I mean, ultimately, it's it's just like Chrome as far as browsing goes. We have in private window, which is, you know, oh, wait, what is this? I saw you know, we have install Microsoft Edge Insider. I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, that was interesting. We have our read aloud feature. Uh, so mostly, mostly like this is a this seems to be a fully functioning browser. I don't like. I'm going to use it as my default browser because I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. Um, it's just if you want edge-specific features, you're going to want to make sure that that those are available before you dive in on this. Because, like I said, you can't mark up the web. You can't uh, do some of those things. Extensions are there. You have way more extensions available than you do on regular Edge because you have access to the Chrome store. So that's about it. Um, Hopefully we'll get a preview this week. So much of it has leaked that I feel like they have to, but I also feel like they kind of don't want to. Everybody I talk to says, oh, it'll, it'll ship when it's ready, when it's ready. And it's like, come on, guys. I know it's not all there. I know I know it still needs work, but it's like, remember the early days? Like, the, I haven't seen anybody this excited for something in Windows since the original Windows 10 previews. And guess what? It wasn't all there then either. The original Windows 10 previews looked almost exactly like Windows 8, but with a start menu. And But, but we were excited about it, and we got excited to watch the, the progress coming along. So come on, guys, just release the preview. That's all we want. Um, so we don't have to run some bootleg thing from some third-party site. Um, by the way, much respect to the third-party site. I believe it's uh, PC beta forums that, that got the link. So anyway, guys, uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get a preview soon. We'll have a lot more to talk about. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.